Hello, this is Vance, and I had promised a couple of days ago to uh, introduce a new program, and I wanted to kind of flesh out some of the details about what I'm intending on doing here. Uh, I call it for trading for profitability, and really what it works out to is a practical program to overcoming mental barriers. Why do I do this? Why am I doing this? The reason I'm doing this is because over the course of the last few years, ever since I was producing or putting these videos on, and uh, the many people that have contacted me over those years, they are always interested in how I trade, like the uh, using the, the 800 tick chart and CL, and they're looking for entries, and they ask me questions. But the majority of the questions really, even though they focus on the uh, the chart itself and how, and the entries and how does this second entry work and so forth. What I see in many of them, in many cases, they have some very well thought out systems that they apply. The problems I see, most of them are psychological or mental. And so for many years that I've been doing these videos, I haven't really focused on that area. I always left you know the two areas the risk management as well as the mental side of trading or the psychological side, up to each individual, self-management, let's put it. The more I do this, the more I realize now that I'm doing everyone a disservice. I really should focus more on that mental side because it's the side that most people don't want to talk about, and yet it's the single side that will make people better traders. And unfortunately, I can't figure out why or I, why people really avoid talking about the subject because it only stands to reason if the mental side of trading is the one side that's preventing individuals from being profitable, why wouldn't you spend most of your time focusing on it? And unfortunately, most people don't do that. And I know this because no one ever wants to talk about it or very seldom do they talk about it. I had a number of discussions with other traders and one that ran a very uh, an individual that ran a very popular website and he had like literally thousands of people that were applied to it and yet the section on his website that dealt with the psychological side of trading was the least visited site and yet that was the single biggest place for individuals to really take advantage or become better traders and yet that was the one side that people didn't show up to. So that's what I'm hoping to change here. When I talk about training for profitability, I'm really talking about these key areas. And these areas are, first of all, it's a new program that I'm putting out. It, I'm going to focus on using the 800 tick chart and the CL using the slow hand method. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's, uh, it's something that we can all talk about, especially in, like every, I have some familiarity of this. So I can impart that. But it's only for illustration purposes only. What I will, what I hope to achieve, I mean, it's best if the individuals that are reviewing this are interested in using price action for trading, but it would be applicable to any market. It would be applicable to any method. The problem is, however, is that if we are talking about this one chart as an illustration or this one type of method, it will hopefully open your eyes up to how to apply these same kind of principles to whatever you're trading. But I'm going to be focusing on the CL because that's what I know best. And it's easiest for us to do that. I'm going to focus on how to eliminate the mental barriers to trading. That's where the focus is going to be. So that is what we're going to be dealing with uh, in these sessions. And this is really a pilot program to overcome barriers to profitability. This program, and what I mean by pilot program is I haven't done this before. This is the first time that I want to do this. Now, because of this is the first time through, there might be some hiccups or some difficulties in getting it off the ground in a real smooth way, but I've got a specific method in how I'm going to approach this. So let's talk briefly about what are the challenges to successful or profitable trading. The first one is the lack of confidence. A lot of individuals come to this and originally saying how it seems to be an easy thing to do, but when they start involving themselves or when they have real money on the table, they realize very quickly that it's not that easy at all. So they'll have a lack of confidence. They'll become inactive or have a problem with activity. There's a number of fears in trading. This is covered by Mark Douglas. I've mentioned them a number of times on my other videos, but the fears in trading are typically the fear of being wrong, the fear of losing money, the fear of missing out on a trade that goes 
you, that goes in a, a direction very quickly and you try to jump in on it, or leaving money on the table. Seeing a trade go in your direction or making money, instead of taking profits, you leave it go so it comes back to zero. Or worse, making money in the morning and giving back in the afternoon. People always talk about a lack of patience, and that's something that, uh, what does that actually mean? We're going to focus on that. What is a lack of patience, and where does that come from? And a lack of discipline. That's the other, the pa- lack of patience and discipline are two that typically people put hand in hand. Well, what exactly does that mean? As far as trading is concerned, I uh, traders in general that are focusing on methods or look at studying these, these things, they certainly don't lack discipline. They uh, spend a lot of time reviewing charts and reading different methods over. Lack of patience, if, if that means that they're just jumping in willy-nilly and trading without a plan, then I agree with that. But why do they trade without that plan? Why do they... What is the root cause of a lack of patience? How to overcome those barriers and those obstacles? And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I've had some personal experience with this. Now, I'm not a psychologist, but I've had personal experience with using mindfulness to help overcome uh, my mental barriers over the over the last number of years. And I find that is extremely effective. Now, why it's different is that a lot of this research is just very recent. And a lot of these techniques have been used in other areas to help individuals deal with mental health issues or mental health problems. My idea is to apply it specifically to trading in a, in a way which will help people to overcome the challenges that the barriers that they put up in front of themselves from being profitable traders. There's going to be eight weekly sessions, two hours per live per session live. I'm going to do it once a week. And in that session, we'll be able to uh, get people together and we can discuss. Uh, I'll, there'll be a presentation dealing with uh, the these issues that I've already overcome and how to deal with them. Uh, the, of course, there's going to be presentation and exercises. Each individual is going to be required to participate. There's going to be participation exercises. But more importantly, there will be exercises to do uh, afterwards. We're, in other words, weekly trading assignments. And those weekly trading assignments will include certain specific things that the individual must have to, uh, should do in order to get the maximum benefit from the program. And of course, we are, I'm hoping that this will be a free and easy exchange for individuals participating. Participating. But because of that, there's going to be a selection process. And what I mean by selection process is that I'm going to handpick these individuals because it's the new program so that it won't be a way. Some individuals that preferably have some experience and that are facing some of these challenges and difficulties. In other words, this isn't really a beginner program. We're not gonna, I'm not going to be showing people how to trade uh, specifically. I mean, we'll be covering the methods, but you have to have an overall understanding of what it means to trade, uh, preferably have traded a live account at some time or another, but it's not mandatory. But you do know the mechanics of trading online or electronic trading. So the program is going to be uh, on the private email access and, and review sessions as required. Uh, so that's well, you'll have access to that. Uh, progress review where participants are expected to share their experiences. That's what we'll do in the open forum once a week. Uh, we're going to talk about that. We, I encourage everyone to participate. It's not, you know, you should. You'll get the maximum benefit out if you can air your concerns or your challenges and how you're applying the program as you go through it. A non-disclosure and confidentiality agreement. In other words, you can't, uh, what we're going to say, what I'm saying is that uh, this is a new program. It's a non-disclosure from the standpoint is that you can't talk about this program to anybody else. Confidentiality means that, of course, what it really says, that whatever we talk about in the group stays in the group. And the reason that we need to do that is because if people are sharing personal experiences, I don't want that out in the public at large. You can't even discuss this. So from that perspective, that's the best way to deal with it, particularly if you're dealing with things. We have Each of us have to have the confidence that what we talk about in these sessions stays in these sessions. There's mandatory attendance. If you sign up or you participate in this program, you have to show up. In other words, if you're chosen for that. Typically, um, for programs that have been participating in similar, if you miss uh, two, session, test, two sessions and you're out. And it needs to be that way because the benefit for everyone included is only going to be because you've, you've showed up to the program. You need a computer with Skype and, or, and voice access for sessions. Uh, you can share screens so that you can show uh, information. I haven't really worked that part of it out. I haven't used Skype for this. I've used GoToWebinar in the past, and I found that the program
program is a little bit cumbersome, but uh, we'll take a look at, uh, at what we'll use in that regard. Uh, but uh, for now, I'm, I'm usually going to use Skype. And there'll be a cost. I haven't worked the, the details out as of yet, but uh, so be prepared that there's going to be some financial costs and that because of the because of the administration issues as far as handling all this stuff. I mean, f- if you think about it, I will also have accessibility for individual uh, consultation, but uh, again, it's really a pilot program. But there will be a cost involved in doing this. So the contact information. Slowhandmethod gmail dot com. Make sure you put the subject title "Mindful Trading" in the in the uh, in the subject line, so that I know that those uh, emails are from uh, what we're going to refer to. I'll in, I'll in, so that you can include your personal email or your email and your contact information, and I'll send you an enrollment package. And what that package will contain it will contain is uh, a number of questions, information, you know, some maybe some just general background information in reference to your trading experience. And from that, I will choose those applicants that I think best fit the the program. And as I said, this is a pilot program. It's the first one going through. And so I'm going to be very selective in the people that I choose uh, to participate. Um, hopefully, I'll have enough. I'm suspecting they'll probably be between 18, maybe 18 to 20, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh as a result, send in your information. If you have an interest, I'll induce. I'll give a little bit more details about what's included, the costs that I think that will incur, the materials that you need to purchase. Uh, there will be a workbook that you'll have to have, and uh, the, what kind of time commitment is expected. It's going to take work on your part. Um, I suspect it won't take much more than a, in a couple hours a week, two, three hours a week, but certainly that's work that you need to put in. Uh, because if you don't put that work in, it really won't be not only not benefiting yourself, but it won't benefit anybody else as well. So I hope that's not uh, too much to ask. Send your information in, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. This is Vance. Thanks for your interest. Look forward to speaking with you. Bye for now.